Hello, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. How's your day been? Pretty good so far, how's yours? Good, good. So what did you do today? Um, today we got, well yesterday we got in a new group of volunteers, so today we organized them into different departments and helped figure out where they were going to go, what they needed to do, get them the right equipment, and then we've gotten them into the various sevas, or various um, things that they have to do. So tell me about one of the departments that you're leading. One of the departments I'm leading is landscaping. What we do is every day in the back in the garden, we pick flowers. Those flowers are then given to another department to make a garland for the Murthys. And then after that, the team comes out into the bigger area of the campus, goes around, uh, picks dead weeds, cleans up the flowers, picks dead flowers, preps flowers to be planted around the campus and into planters wherever they need to go. They also maintain the flowers, so making sure they're properly uh, watered and are getting the right soil and fertilizer. That's awesome. So tell me a little bit about the people that are doing this. The people that are doing this, a lot of them have no landscaping experience. So when we first meet them, the first thing they say is, I know nothing about landscaping. And it's okay, I was, the sa I was on the same boat. Um, so what they do is we have two leads. The leads have learned everything. They've gotten the hang of things. So they teach the, de they teach the volunteers what to do and how to do it. For our volunteers who have a little bit of a green thumb, they've actually been learning a lot, which is what they tell me. And anything they've learned, they're taking home and applying in their daily lives in their home gardens or wherever they do landscaping outside of here. So are they all from different age ranges? How do they get along? Everyone gets along. It's really nice to see that even though they have various backgrounds, various lifestyles, they're all making the effort to get to know each other and become friends. They're all building these lifelong friendships and bonds, learning about each other's stories, learning about the way they live and starting to apply those things in their lives, whether it's learning how to make a simple meal or just like applying some sort of thought process to make their days better when they're having a bad day. Sounds like a lot of fun. It is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell me why it's so important to have all of these volunteers here to do the landscaping? The importance of it is, one, they get to be part of something bigger. A lot of people never thought that they would ever do this, so they were really nervous, but it helps them build their personal confidence, but also gives them an opportunity to remember that they're contributing to something that's gonna be here for a very long time. Awesome. And tell me a little bit about how this enhances the visitor's experience. So when the visitors first drive in, um, for a very long time, they just saw construction. But now that landscaping has become a bigger focus in the entire campus, the first thing they start to see as they're entering is a bunch of greenery. They see trees, they see plants, they see flowers, a variety. There's marigolds, um, lilacs, roses, everything are all spread out throughout the campus. And it's visually appealing because it's a, it creates a warm and welcoming environment for everyone. Anything else you wanted to add? I've learned a lot from landscaping. I knew nothing, but learning it, as much as I have in the past two weeks and then looking forward to learning more, I'm really looking forward to it and I'm looking forward to meeting new people as well. Awesome, well thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, right now we're just gardening, so since some of the flowers are dead from the heat, we're trying to make sure that they're better so we can plant them. I mean, I could be doing anything else on a Friday, but I I think this is really exciting. It's really fulfilling to be here and be doing something for other people. And um, it gives me a sense of purpose to actually be doing this. So our guru always says, in the joy of others lies our own. And he, one of his dreams is to make this Akshardham happen. So to actually be able to help fulfill that purpose is in itself something that I find fulfilling. Somebody that's really inspired me on site while I've been here in my two weeks, her name is Jalpa Ben. She has just been, she does all different sorts of sevas. She's helping organize so many different things, but whenever I see her, she always checks up on me, says, how are you doing? How's your health? How are like the people you're working with? Is everything okay? And she is literally one of the sweetest, most humble and kind people that I've met. And she has been such an inspiration, even on days when it's been tough or even on days when it's been tiring. I used to garden a little bit when I was younger with my family, but since I left for college, we haven't done much as a family together with gardening since I'm not around. And coming back here and being able to actually do this in a huge team effort has been really amazing to just see. We've been planting them in different patterns. We've been making sure that they're de-weeded. And those are things that I didn't really think about when I was younger as a kid. 
And now seeing how much care gets put into making sure each flower and each plant is alive and well taken care of, it's really nice to see that. And it's also nice to be able to actually give back to the environment. So there's plants everywhere on this campus and I love seeing how lively it makes this entire place and how green it makes it, honestly.